All right, on slide four, you are looking at iron three oxide for this first problem. And because there's no charge up in the little, like the right hand corner up here, that's why everything is adding up to zero. And so I've already given you everything except for the oxidation state of each individual iron. So that's the part that you're filling out here. So because they need to add up to zero, we know that each oxygen is going to be negative two. And so if there are three oxygen atoms, we know that because there's a little three right there, then you multiply two times negative three and you get negative six. Since this needs to add up to zero, that means that iron must contribute a total charge of positive six. And if we look back at our formula, there are two oxygen atoms, which goes right here. And so what times two will give us positive six? And you should have come up with three. For this next one, we've got sulfur dioxide. Again, there's no little exponent in the top corner, so they are going to add up to zero. And I've given you the total charges again. We've got two oxygen atoms. They need to add up to negative four. You should remember that oxygen is always going to be negative two. And then our sulfurs add up to positive four. There's only one sulfur atom. So that one sulfur atom is contributing a charge of positive four. 